What is up? Let's follow the old Tone King. <laughs> Give you one of those. Used to love him opening his show with that all the time. It was great. All right, so I'm coming to you with a I'm live from my old bedroom in my mom's house. Isn't it fun that some of the people we meet on YouTube, it's so fun. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about another Fender alternative. You know, I've got a thing with Fender. So I'm always looking for alternatives to their amps and or Telecasters and Strats. Great alternative to the Fender Strat is the V6 100, which you, oh, right up behind me, right there. All right, great. Alternative to the thin line is right there on the wall right there. It's another vintage, although I'm a little reserved on recommending that one, uh, like a GNL might be a super like the or a blues boy yeah the asap blues boy my blues boy is out of thin line but i think it's chambered anyway i'm off topic already anyway looking for stuff so this is a schecter telecaster and i'm pretty excited to tell you about it but i wanted to show you some artwork first been doing uh we did a little artwork today we had a no device day today and uh did this one i think i'm gonna redo it because I'm gonna change the shadowing on, it's called trees. I'm gonna change the shadowing halfway through the trees so it plays a trick on your brain. Put the shadow on the other side on this half and keep it on this side. Anyway, it's called trees. And then this is another one I came up with today. <laughs> All right, 
Stevie T has this bottle kick. I got dumb art. But gosh darn, no one subs anymore. Uh, if I had a, if I had uh, even a sub for every hundred people that watch the videos, um, it'd be pretty cool. But like I said before, I do not have a viral personality. So let me tell you about this cool thing. Also, uh, I've been playing it for a couple of days and um, I didn't tune it after that jam. And uh, I haven't tuned it for a couple of days. very nicely intonated and it's still in tune has a very good tone um, very nice tuners on the back they are Schecter old school type but they have an oil hole which is nice I like that so that we don't have to drip oil down the post when we chain strings and I like that they're not the vintage style with the slots in them those are kind of a pain nice um, synthetic bone nut but it's nice and thin this is a stained neck, although it looks like a roasted maple neck. It is maple, and it has a separate maple fingerboard on top of the neck. Um, but it is stained, but it does have a lot of nice um, grain showing through. It's stained much better than the TC-59 from Artist Guitars, which came out orange. This actually looks really, really nice. Jumbo frets, which is also really nice. Don't like the vintage or mini jumbos, the smaller ones. Just too, not enough um, distance between the neck and the string. It's got a good tone too. Now it's got a P90 up here and a Telecaster type single coil, both made by Schecter. They're the Diamond Series. Uh, nice triple layer um, pick guard so that you get that extra little black line of detail there. The grain on this is outstanding. Um, the grain really shows through. You can see the porousness, the coarseness, the porousness of the grain on the back as well. Super nice. Other nice features, the binding around the body is nicely done. I couldn't find any defects there. Brass saddles in this old school ashtray type. This isn't so high that I want to take it off, but the brass saddles uh, are a super nice deal. They add to the intonation. They have uh, height adjustment screws on each side. You can get closer looks at that in some sort of picture. This offset angle is designed into those saddles, so they're not going to move. Um, that's the way they are bent, but the intonation is right on, so no problem there. We have a nice cut, comfort cut here for your belly, and we have a nice arm cut right here the whole guitar is nice and thin and it's only 7.6 pounds so it's nice and light i'm selling the wolf it's too 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 expensive i mean too heavy it's right up there and uh, it's 9.6 pounds and it just it hurts so i'm going to be selling that i'm so happy to have found this i really like it now the pickups um are a little interesting they do have this push pull right here you can pull that and you get a real heavy sound it puts all the, the two pickups in series instead of parallel and they stay in series no matter what position you your selector is in when you pull this switch you get both of these in series it doesn't matter what you do with the switch Nothing changes. On the other side, though, when we're on the net or the bridge pickup, the single coil, it is very twangy, but it's almost it's almost kind of thin, uh, which is okay. You want telly twang, but it's almost on the thin side, so I might look at an alternative alternate pickup for that. These two together is really nice. You still have a nice twang. It's bright. It's sparkly. It's real nice. I like that.
very nice. And then this pickup in the back, the P90, is to me a little muddy. But when you put some dirt on it, like we had in one of that, that uh, video, you end up with probably blowing your speakers out here a little bit. It re reacts really well to a dirt pedal that's just got a little more treble on it. It's very thick, and it combined with the other one in the middle position is very nice. Um, but if you're someone who likes to tinker and play with pickup swaps, this would might be a great guitar to do that with because it's so nicely appointed. It's put together very well. I haven't tuned it in a couple of days. Um, light, 7.6 pounds. It's beautiful with the grain, recessed, not, um, string through. Inserts back here. Good electronics. nice it's nice so if you're looking for a uh, Telecaster alternative give this Schecter PT special some consideration I think the um, PT is supposed to stand for Pete Townsend all right so that's it sub up share hit that like button I don't know.